Marsden's parish and Arnie's parish. What's Papa's name, Castella? Because it is. Then why aren't we called Castella? Because we're not. Why? You don't know why. Oh, honestly, Adrian, you're a noisy little pig. Because Mama chose. She told us. Because she promised Grandpa the parish. She'd use. Oh, I wish you'd grow up. You'll be sorry when I do. You'll be sorry you were such a beast when I've gone on a crusade like Richard the Lionheart. Nobody goes on crusades nowadays, you ass. I shall if I want. Mama, I could go on a crusade, couldn't I? I could go out and fight evil. What did your father tell you? All fighting is evil. But what about Colonel Baden Powell at Mafeking? He wasn't evil. Where is Papa? He's gone to see the lady who went out. She's a wicked enchantress who cast a spell over him. So he had to. Shut up, Henry. Shut up. I'll kick you if you don't. Please, please, boys, be patient. William? William, what? Was George IV a good king? Or a bad king? I don't know. Does it matter? Well, it must have mattered once, to some people anyway. Are you going to eat now? No. Please, Mark. I've changed our suite. The um, maids are moving our things to nine. Why? What was wrong with Why is your face scratched? Does it uh, hurt? It's an accident. What sort of... Adrian! Mark? It's over, Rose. I, I finished it once more. Is Mama crying? But why is she crying? Oh, shut up, you are a little pig, and sit down. Rose. My darling Rose. I understand. You can't. It's too. It doesn't matter. Nothing does as long as you stay. I do. Believe me, more than anything else in this world. Will you tell the boys about her now? Of course. Not, not here. Not, not tonight. Then I shall. You, you saw the lady with the young boy. The enchantress? What? He's being silly. Who are they, Papa? Well, the, the boy is my son. Do you understand? Not Mama's. No, he... Uh, he was with his mother. Do you both understand? I do. You've got two wives, and that's that's illegal. Hmm? No. No. Your mother and I are not married. Why not? I thought I loved. It's wrong of me to treat your mother. William, do, do you agree we're more of a family, the three of us, than most? What's the boy's name? Philip. I didn't think I liked him. William, do, do, do you agree we're more of a family? I don't care. But you must. <laughs> and you do. Nothing is black and white in this world. If you agree we're happy together... Weren't you then... happy with her? Her, I mean. Yes. Yes, I was, once. Before you met Mama? No. After. You didn't have to tell us. we have only learnt it later. With more pain, believe me. This was supposed to be a holiday. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry, William. 
I don't care. You needn't think I care. I don't care about any of it. It's all, it's all rot. <laughs> I think we shouldn't. Talk about this with your mother. Hmm? Did she scratch your face? <laughs> William, go on, it's your turn. No, in a minute. It's six two. No. What's the bastard mean, William? Oh, you know what it is. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It's a swear word, like, like bitch and bloody. Is it a bad one? People say it to mean something bad. But you said before breakfast, if someone calls you a bastard, you won't knock his teeth out. No, I won't. Well, I will, if it's bad. It's not worth it. Why not? Because you're a bastard and so am I. Jenna? How are you, Michael? It's good of you to come to London. It is. I always hated this townhouse. Is Mark he not... He came with me. He'll be up presently. May I offer you a whiskey? I'll ring for some. No. No. No, thank you. Mark wanted me to explain before I advised him it wasn't necessary for you to meet, but he felt it would be more honourable. I'm sure he did. I'm sorry, Janet. It's most distressing to act for Mark against you. Oh, it's all right, say, Michael. It's not all right at all. Hang it up. I said I'd stay on at Pen Marrick if that is a condition for keeping the children. Have you come to tell me that I can't? Is that what Mark wants explained? The ruling was quite firm, Janet. It's true you sought the judicial separation, but... Don't agree with us. God, what have I to say us? Damn the boss, I have to talk to you like this. Dear Michael, I've lost my plea, haven't I? They agree with him. I'm not a fit person to be entrusted with a gentleman's children. If it had been, Janet, if you'd sued for a divorce. No, that bloody woman won't get anything from me. How are you, Jenna? I'm well enough in the circumstances. Has she been told about the children? Yes, Mark Elizabeth is too young. Well, she's, she's old now. I want all of them with me at Oxford. I have the right to see them. Do we talk about that? Damn it, tell her about the settlement. Mark, she does have the right to Provided see Provided they visit her at Pen Marriott. To see me or that damned house. Such a degree. If you won't speak to me, Mark, why have you come? Because I wanted to be sure. I wanted no tricks. <laughs> you wanted to ask me again for a divorce, but you've lost your temper and can't. Are you going to tell her about the settlement? She knows. A plea tell her. I want to hear her too. Jenna, you are I'm to... to receive 500 pounds a year in addition to the maintenance he is obliged to pay. If I conduct myself with decorum, with the outward appearance of a lady, at least... At I Mary. may sometimes see my children if and when and where he thinks proper. I hope that satisfies you, Mark. If she's staying here tonight, I shall be at my club. Will you take me to Paddington, Michael? If the girls and young you, um, if the, the nanny can't, after I've left Oxford with them. I've decided to take them myself. No, Janie, you may not. Mark expressly forbids that. Time. 
It's a fast train. We should arrive in Truro for the West Cornish connection. May I see Philip once more before he joins the others? Sorry, Jenna. I'm desperately sorry that he and Marcus are to go straight to Oxford at the end of town. Mark will never let me see the boys again. That's the truth, isn't it? Oh, rot, right, Jenna. They will come to Penmarrick in the summer. Why do you practice law, Michael? I'm not sure I understand you. I am the... the... aggrieved, is the word right? Aggrieved party, yes. Yet the law says that I am the one to be punished. Is that fair, Michael? And if it is not, why do you practice law? Where is everybody? Carlson is there, madam. He is now. Where were you? Will you take tea, madam, or is it too late? I'd like something hot. Well, cook has damped down the fires, madam. Where are the children? I really couldn't say, madam. Well, send someone to find them and tell them that I wish to see them. And you'll not be taking tea. Very good, madam. I said I'd like something hot. I could perhaps find a cold collation, madam. Hot, if you please. Hot, Madeline. And when Carson has finished gossiping, perhaps he'd be good enough to bring up my back. <laughs> Is what I've told you so funny, Mariana? I'm sorry, Mama. But to have brothers you don't know, and another mother... You have one mother, that's all. Of course, I know that. But what am I to call her? Oh, dear. It would be most... Most... What does Griselda call it? Plexing. That's it, plexing. Is that all you can say about it? Well, it's not really a surprise, is it? I mean, you and Papa, and we were all told... You, do stop playing with the window and help. I'm glad you're back, Mama. Well. The servants have become jolly insular. Insolent. That's what I said. Medlin's been drunk twice. What? Oh, <laughs> never mind. No, what did you mean, Mariana? You were all? We were told. That's all. Mama, uh, may I wear my fur police when we go? Told what? Please, Mama, I never wear it here and it's so dashing. Answer me, told what? About Papa. And her. And the others. Who told you? If I hadn't, one of the iron mighty servants he's so afraid of would surely have done. All prattle tongues they be. You had no right, Griselda. It didn't do them a mite of harm and saved ye the trouble. Griselda, what am I going to do? All's done and no more to be said. They won't let me see Philip. He'd only moon over the lad. Better set your mind on the little one to come. Zelda, please, don't bully me. Mm -hmm. 
you will write, will you not? Just as soon as you've left them at Oxford. Of course, madam. I'm sorry that you must find a new position. Yes, so you said, madam, but I expect no difficulty. I have a reputation. Some of course. Of course. Now, you will be good. All of you. Madeline says a gentleman always thanks the engine driver. Can I do that? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, you should. Now, bye, my love. Bye. Well, I don't think he should. He just wants to swang. Oh, bye, darling. You will write, won't you? I'll write every week. Jan, big hug. Bye, my love. Nanny. Well, come along, dear. Come along, all of you. Come along, Miss Jan. There. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get there. Make room for her. Yeah. Three weeks. Your mother wrote to you at school. I thought he was only going to be that horrid boy. That horrid boy is your brother, Philip. Will not half prefer... brother, you said. That means half of him isn't my brother, doesn't it? He won't be sharing my room, I hope. You'll share with Adrian. Oh, please, Papa. Please. Let me share with William. Oh, please, Papa. No fear. I don't want you picking it with me. You will both do as your mother has decided, hmm? I'm not upset with this foolishness. Here's Papa. We're in the garden, Mark. Papa's back. Ah. Come along. Here are your brothers, William and Adrian. And that handsome young man, boys, is Marcus. The lovely young lady is Mariana. You there, and little Jan. Hello. 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 Come along, Adrian. Where are your manners? He's shy. No, I'm not. You're at Winchester, aren't you? Papa says I make up to Eton next term. You'll have to be jolly good at cricket then. Go 
much as I could be, and I have seen WG. You have? I say. Do you play croquet? Yes. Where did you see WG? Oh, we saw him at the parks. They were playing against the university. Party was up there last week. Do you think he made a hundred before lunch? Thank God for cricket. loving. I haven't! Dearest Mama, she's not, you know, not now. Worse luck. Put it down! You get off that bed. It's mine. It's private. You can keep your rotten bed. You can keep your rotten letter. I'll punch you! Go on, just you try. Go on. Adrian, Phyllis, come for tea, my dears. That was a catch! Oh, clean. Put the child down now, hmm? She's no weight. Oh, you don't want to exert yourself too much. Oh, Mark. She's so pretty. Well done. Philip should be here. We must give him time, my dear. Tea in his room isn't giving him time. It's a dangerous indulgence. Mark, he's cried so much. So pity is no excuse. William is becoming quite the little sportsman, isn't he? Adrian, the ball! You're supposed to be playing as well. Oh, Adrian, where are you going? Oh, dear. I do hope he's not going to get like Philip. People have to be nasty. Yes, people don't have to be nasty when things are other people's fault. Adrian! Adrian? Are you up there, Adrian? It's the only place I can be by myself. I know, my dear. But could you come down now? Please? Adrian? Oh. Adrian. You don't want them, do you? You don't want any of them. You dear, silly boy. They're your father's children. I love him. I love you. Not Why shouldn't I love all of you? Not him. All of you, my love. Particularly Philip at this moment, because he's so unhappy. Why couldn't she keep them? Why couldn't she?
Griselda. My dears. It was first rate, absolutely first rate. <laughs> Won't we went to 50 miles an hour. Don't be yes, such an ass. Soon. Nothing can go that far. I was terrified, oh. wonderfully, well, wonderfully I'm terrified. Mama, can. can I drive it? I can, oh, can't I? Please, please. <laughs> Philip, you were a chump not to come. You really were, wasn't he? <laughs> You beast! You've carved your initials on my tree house. That's my tree! Nobody owns a tree. Yes, we do. Papa gave me that tree. And you've got no I to can it. if I want to. No, you can't. This is our house, not yours. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants a rotten, spoiled sport like you. Shut up! Why couldn't you stay with your mother? Shut your bloody mouth! That young bastard is. Now, don't you fret. The doctor's on his way, so just you hold on, me old darling, eh? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Did Papa beat you? No, he didn't. That's because you'd have had to beat Adrian, too. You really are behaving awfully. I don't care. Why didn't you run away then? You're always talking about it. I shall. When well, I'm 16. And good riddance. Why don't you run away to Penmarrick? Because they put Mama in prison. Oh, fudge. That's not true. And you know it. It is. She told me. When? When did she tell you? You haven't seen her. And Papa reads all her letters to us. Anyway, she doesn't care about you. I'll punch you for saying that! I wouldn't try it because I just might scratch your eyes out. She doesn't care about any of us now. And good riddance to her. I like it here. My lamb. Here he be, my lamb. Little devil wouldn't wait for no doctor. Up here enough with old Griselda. Here he be, my lamb. Take it away. Don't he talk like that? Take it away! Yeah, yeah, it was a holiday, was it? We, so we did have some fun, though. Yeah, it was good. Good. We had to go back out. What did you all say? That was great, wasn't it? Finish your teeth, Philip. You must be Is she coming from Oxford? Oh, do shut up. You don't even know it's from her. I do? Oh. I saw it in the hall. 
Is she coming to Oxford, Papa? Is she coming to Oxford, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> I say that sounded just like him. Is she coming to Oxford? William. Your sister Elizabeth will be joining us soon. Oh, she cries. She's always crying. Your mother has had a baby. A brother for you. A baby? Well, what's it called? Jeanne Yves. <laughs> what a silly name. <laughs> Jeanne Yves was your grandfather's name. He was called Lawrence. Your mother's father. Oh, him. Papa, maybe go out in the motor again before term starts. Oh, please, oh, yes, Papa. Papa. Please, 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 Not too late to change your mind. I'm going to Roslyn, Michael. I'm going home to Roslyn. That's foolish, Janet. Ben Merrick's been your home for ten years now. And I've hated it every minute, every second. You know the terms of the separation. Why are you doing this? Mark will not let the children go to Roslyn. Then I'll go to Oxford to visit them. Janna! I won't stay in this evil house any longer. It's, it's possessed. Mark asked me to warn you that what if you leave... What does he say about Janna? Does he feel guilty? Tell me he feels guilty. Girls were to visit you before Christmas. Mark will not let them go to Rosslyn. <coughs> Have they finished up there? Almost, sir. I'll see to it. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, Jana. At least you'll be glad to see me gone, won't you, Madeline? No, madam. And will you forgive me? what? I was... I should have understood. It would give me, all the staff, madam, great satisfaction to think that one day we may see you at Pen Merrick again. No. Never. Thank you, Madeline. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Castellac. I'll see to the cat lamb. Jared Rosslyn let it run down a bit. Well, the heart went out of it when his wife died. But I'll put it back. Well, don't you? However... That's what I am. And always was. A farmer's wife. You're much more than that. Mark's a damned fool. No. He'll understand in time. And let the children come. Jenna, you mustn't count on that. I must. And I do. And you said you'd write to him. I'd do better. I'll go to Oxford. I was once to be an advocate, not a solicitor. Dear Michael. <laughs> Crowless, will you send the carriage on Saturday? I should be visiting the child. Now, let's go in and have tea and we'll talk. Are you not being a little hard on her, my dear? It's not your... Dear Rose, you're prepared to think the best of everyone. Aren't we obliged to? Michael, you, you know this move to Rosslyn isn't quixotic. I mean, you know, Jana, if she's not given her own way, she takes it. Believes everyone else must surely accept it. Haven't you had your own way, Mark? The devil I have. I wanted her to divorce me. She won't. Is that having my own way? They'll come to no harm at Rosslyn. <sighs> they are not hobbledehoy, yokel children. Their proper place is at Penmerick. Besides, Woman's not going to trick me. The court's decision is still valid, isn't it? I may still determine where and when they meet her. Of course. 
Will you tell her that Elizabeth is happy now? Rose, indeed I will. How is the child, little Janine? Oh, damn the child, we don't, we don't want to hear about it. Look, Michael, are you my lawyer or are you not? Oh, don't. Well, if you wish to withdraw, be good enough to say so. As your lawyer, Mark, I shall, of course, act upon your instructions. But as your friend and Janna's, I'm not obliged to like them. Excuse me, Rose. It was no good, Griselda. Michael tried. It was no good at all. Mark will not let me see those boys. And if I wish to see the girls, I must visit them in London, and then only with his consent. I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen. He never listens. Oh, surely I had the right. There ain't nothing in marriage lines about right and wrong. Only woman obeying man. How can he be so cruel? Not only to me, but to them. He wouldn't be cruel to them. Not one of them, would he? Please don't start that again, Griselda. What's that motherless little mite going to say about he, little Jan Eves? I don't want to talk about it. A Pemaric on his own, abandoned by his mother. Don't he think that cruel? Shall we go in? Wind's suddenly cold. Mrs. Penmar. It pains me to admit it, but that woman has acquired some taste, whatever my son told the courts. She's done very well, I Doing think. very well implies effort. Breeding should be instinctive. Even so, the place has improved beyond recognition since my cousin Giles was dead. He took no pride in Penmaric, you know. This isn't just a house. It's an inheritance. Mrs. Benmar, I, must I ask thought why. Mark would understand that. Can you tell me why he abandoned this? All this for some wretched nursemaid? Rose Parrish isn't. Mrs. Benmar, as Mark's friend, I may not comment on his personal affairs. If you wish to consult me as his solicitor, Don't however, be tiresome, I... man, and have the goodness to wait until I come to the point. I'd be obliged if you would, madam. At least you've got something else in your veins besides ink. But don't be too impertinent. I must ask why you're here. Against his wishes, you mean, don't you? I've had no instructions to deny you entry. I should hope not. But I must ask, why have you come to Penmerrick? To see the place of my birth once more. I'm no longer a young woman, Mr. Vincent. I'm sure you have. Please don't try to be gallant. It will only embarrass us both. I'm sorry. What is it you wish me to do, Mrs. Benmar? I want to see that woman, his wife. You will arrange that. If not here, at her farm. But he won't return to you now. And I wouldn't persuade him if I could. I don't want you to. No? Then why did you agree to see me? Because you asked. Because you're my children's grandmother. Sentimental rubbish. And because I was curious. Better. You always had spirit. One had to admire that. What do you want, Mrs. Penmore? To speak to you about Philip. That surprises you? Yes. Yes, it does. You've seen him? Once or twice. Improperly, so Michael Vincent tells me. Lawyers are paid to put propriety over common humanity. Mark sent Philip to see me. A duty to be done with. He sent all his brood. The only one I could bear to see again was Philip. Though his manners were always barbaric when I took him to Claridge's. Do you know how much he loves Cornwall? No. But I'm pleased he does. He'd sit in my London house and read the books I have on Cornwall. That's the legacy I promised the boy. Not money. My books on Cornwall and the tin mines. Do you understand? Are you? May I offer you something? Some cordial brandy, perhaps? No. Don't fuss. I'm not dying because I'm talking about a legacy. Do you understand? The books are not in my will. Or maybe. Either way, Mark may try. But 
You, you will see to it. Yes, I'll see he gets your books, I promise you. It's a great pity your lack of breeding prevented us from being friends. You're a beast, William. Oh, you do get frightfully ratty, don't you? Okay? A hateful, hateful beast. I just said all that's a waste of time, that's all. Well, no, it's not. Oh, of course it is. It's not. Nobody's going to a coming out ball now the king's dead. But that has nothing to do with it. Nobody would turn up. They will. No one's like dancing on the king's coffin. Oh, you beast, <gasps> William. Oh, 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 oh no, no, Pax. You Pax. Oh, Pax, Pax. Pax. What is it, Papa? Has Philip written to you? Hmm? Either of you? He never writes to anybody. William? No, Papa. Where's your mother? Resting in her room. Uh, what's happened to him, Papa? He's run away from rugby. Just looking. Home from school, are you? I finished with school. There's not much to see here. Well, there was once. Aye, there was once. Before those Castalics. You're, you're young. Philip Castalic. So you be. Do you remember me, sir? I, I think so. Yes, you're the mine captain. I was. I found you that day down the cliff shaft with a penny candle. You boxed my ears and said I'd tell my father. Which I reckon you did. No jolly fear. Then you'll have a bite with me, sir. Oh. Well, thank you. No, that's all right, sir. Pass the ear, sir. Enjoy that. I've come home. Isn't it wonderful? Home? Ma, it's my birthday. I told them. I told them all I'd run away. And I have. No. I'll find him changed, Jenna. We've all grown older. Not just that, but... Poor Rose. I'm sorry for her. It's generous of you, Jenna. No. Only all passions subside, I suppose. Mark refuses to believe it. No. He knows she's dying of consumption, but he won't accept it. Is it too much to ask you to remember that? 
you could perhaps... Be gentle with them? Yes, I suppose that's what I mean. King's death has thrown a gloom over everything, hasn't it? I do hope Mark has been able to accept that. It's good of you to come. Without knowing why I wish to see you. I assume you wanted to tell me that I must send Philip back to you. No, that's not the... Would you do that? No, Mark. I can instruct Michael to take legal action to and reclaim I'll him. resist it. That all you wanted to say to me? Very well, if you will, Michael. Yes. You must forgive the dry formality of this, Jenna. <laughs> Over the past years, you have been allowed regular access to your daughters at agreed times in London and Torbay. Exmouth. Of course, Exmouth. Uh, but it has come to our notice that you have twice recently, without consent, therefore improperly in law, met both Marcus and Philip. Also Hugh on one occasion. I suppose Marcus told you. I have in fact met them all together on two occasions. And Philip three times alone. Uh, before he came back to Roslyn, that is. You don't mention that. I was coming to it. It does add to. Oh, Jenna, the court would regard all this, including harbouring Philip. Harbouring Michael. You are in contempt of the court's ruling, Jenna. Damn the court. This is an attempt to get Philip back, isn't it? No. Boy's got nothing to do with it. Nothing. Without prejudice, and we're prepared. Uh, we shall, of course, consent to regular access to your sons, comparable to that you have enjoyed with your daughters, and take no action in the case of Philip. Uh, that is, Jana. Uh, that is, if you in return will. Will what? Mark? You will now divorce me, as soon, as quickly as possible. So that you may marry Rose Parish? Yes. Before she dies. No. No, Mark. I'll uh, tell them to be quiet. No, please, Mark. I like to hear them. Let me close the window. It's getting chilly. If you feel it. But it should be left. Of course. Is Oxford dreary? Oh. Black crepe. Long faces everywhere. Cook was crying this morning. She said it was like losing one of her own. Uh, servants are obliged to be snobs. Don't be cynical, my dear. It spoils your face. <laughs> she refused, didn't she? Dear, dear Mark, I didn't think Jenna would, that it would be possible for her to agree. Did you? Truly. What point is there in her obstinacy? After all this time? The court took so much from her. You mean I did? Do you blame me? Can we blame her for refusing us the one thing she alone can give? I've died you. I should have told you in the morning. What has it got to do with us? You don't know. I told them I'd run away, all of them. I said I'd never go back and I won't, never. Your father has asked for you. 
just for a funeral. Philip! He doesn't care about me. He never cared about anyone except her. Well, now she's dead. Aren't you pleased? Ah. Almighty God, with whom do live the spirits of them that depart hence in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful, after they are delivered from the burden of the flesh, are in joy and felicity. We give thee hearty thanks for that it hath pleased thee to deliver this, our sister, out of the miseries of this sinful world beseeching thee that it may please thee of thy gracious goodness shortly to accomplish the number of thine elect and to hasten thy kingdom that we and all those that are departed in the true faith of thy holy name may have perfect consummation and bliss both in body and soul in thy eternal 